guys, it's Gina. I'm going to be making some Mexican stuff shell, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so I have already made my meat mixture, and I just have some taco seasoning and enchilada sauce mixed in it. I've made my noodles, rinsed them, and let them cool a little. I took some of the enchilada sauce and put a little in the bottom of my pan as well as in my meat mixture. And I'm going to be topping these um, shells with some quesadilla cheese. So let's just get to stuffing them. Um, what you're going to do is just take your shell, open it up, and put as much of the meat mixture as you would like in your shell. I um, stuff mine pretty nicely, like pretty much as much as I can into the shell. And then you're just going to place it into the bottom of your pan. And go to the next one and do the same thing. Open up your shell and, excuse me, stuff as much of the meat mixture as you would like in it. Whichever, whatever works for your family. And you're just going to continue to do that until you have all of your shell stuff. So, um, like I said, I usually put quite a bit in mine, but, you know, whatever works. So I'm just going to finish stuffing my shells and then I will be back, guys. All right, I have finished stuffing my shells, and now I'm going to put some of this cheese over um, my shells and let, so it can bake and get all nice and melty on it. You can use any kind of cheese that you like. This is just the kind that I like. Um, I've never made this particular recipe, but I use this cheese for other Mexican recipes that I do. So I am going to use the entire bag of this shredded cheese on my, um, my Mexican shells. And this bag holds two cups of cheese, so about two cups of cheese is what you would use for this recipe. I'm going to bake these, and then I will be back, guys. All right, here is the finished product. I have baked these at 350 for 45 minutes, and it's nice and cheesy and good. It smells great. I hope you guys try this recipe, and I hope your family likes it. Thanks for watching, guys.